The Falcon and the Winter Soldier Season 1 stars Anthony Mackie, Sebastian Stan, Aaron Kellyman, and Wyatt Russell. And it follows the events of Avengers Endgame, seeing Falcon and Winter Soldier team up in a global adventure that tests their abilities and their patience. Now, big disclaimer, spoilers ahead. Let's talk about my favorite part of the show. The downtime we get with Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan as these, as these smaller characters. With the big movies like Avengers Endgame, Avengers Infinity War, you don't really get to see them shine. But here we definitely get to see them shine, especially Sebastian Stan, who performance-wise is a star. Uh, and also Wyatt Russell, who we'll talk about a little later. But Anthony Mackie getting to be the character that he's always wanted to be and the guy that's, who eventually turns into Captain America it was so cool to see him in his big role. I love the scenes with them together. They the bickering, they work off each other excellently, especially in the first couple episodes. Uh, the scene with Bucky in therapy and him just expressing himself to, um, to Anthony Mackie as Falcon was just so, so good. Now let's talk about Wyatt Russell. He is so good at playing the guy that you don't like. He was getting trashed on social media, and I really feel bad for the guy. But if he's getting trashed, that means he's doing something right. You know, he's giving the performance that people don't like. He's playing the character of Captain America, and we don't like him. We, we know that he's not our Captain America. But towards the end, in the final episode especially, I love how we got a sort of redemptive arc. It was really nice to see him save the... Uh, civilians in the in the truck before they before they fell for their death so it was really nice to see him shine and i haven't really seen him in much but i'm really looking forward to seeing him as a u.s agent but really quick we'll talk about the end of episode four with him the whole world is watching you know what i'm talking about that scene Oh, that was that was some good stuff. That was probably the highlight of the show. When I think of this show, I think I'm gonna think of that scene. Marvel went for it, and I absolutely loved it. They went for the full violence, gore, not as gory as say something as Deadpool, but it was really good to see him, like, be a bad guy. But let's talk about the bad guys. So the Flag Smashers, they are unfortunately weak as a whole. I do think that they had a hard time juggling between who is the real villain of the show, the Flag Smashers, or uh, or John F. Walker. And I don't like Carly Morgenthau. I think that the actress is very good. I just don't think that Carly is a good character, and I did not see myself rooting for her. You know, with, with the villains, you can kind of see yourself... Not you, you can't see yourself in the villains, but you can see yourself rooting for them in a sense. Characters like Thanos, Joker, you want to see them succeed. I just didn't really care for her to succeed, you know? I just don't think, I think that the writing on that part was pretty weak. But the action, especially with the Flag Smashers, was awesome. The final episode, you probably get the most action of the entire show. That was awesome. And even the first episode of the whole first season opens up with a big action scene. And that was so much fun to see. The action is obviously filmed incredibly. It obviously reminds you of the Winter Soldier and the actions. I love what they did with Isaiah Bradley. He's giving a great performance from Carl Lumbly and the great racial undertones. You really, especially in the final episode with Falcon giving the speech... Uh, to the uh, senators, it was really good to see them highlight some of the real issues in America right now. Episode 6 is probably my favorite episode. Episode 4 is very, very, very close behind, though, because of the final scene with John Walker. But episode 6, you just get so much action. You get the tie-up with all of the characters. We see everyone, and we learn that you know who is the power broker. No surprise there. We kind of all saw that coming. 
which is unfortunate, but I like the end credit scene, seeing that we will see more of her in the future. I still do like WandaVision a bit better. I just like how new that show was and how ballsy it was for Marvel to take on a cla like classic sitcoms and go for it. But this they also went for it in the in the in the violence department. Both of these shows it's is showcases Marvel going for it and I 100% appreciate that. I think WandaVision isn't I think Falcon and Winter Soldier is better as a whole. WandaVision definitely still has more flaws than Falcon and Winter Soldier, which is a good thing. I just prefer WandaVision more than but Falcon and Winter Soldier is a very 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 close second. I had a lot of fun with this season. I don't want you to think that me liking WandaVision better means that I didn't appreciate this season. I really enjoyed it. I just liked waking up on Friday mornings more watching WandaVision than Falcon and Winter Soldier. I was more eager to check out the next episode. So Falcon and Winter Soldier was a very strong debut. I did really enjoy it. And I do think that we will see a season two, especially with the Captain America and the Winter Soldier uh, title change. I think that will be very interesting. And I know Sebastian Stan is totally on board for season two. So I do think that we'll get a season two. I'm going to give the Falcon and Winter Soldier season one an A. I do think it's a very strong season, and I did really enjoy it. Guys, thank you so much for watching it yet again. Look out for my review of Mortal Kombat later today. I'm very excited to check that one out. It was so much fun watching the Falcon and Winter Soldier and just getting to review it for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, do give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much again. My name is Ben. People call me Meter, and I'll see you guys in the next one.